everyone welcome back to a new video in today's video i have got aster and beard tongue these are acrylics from nail Kami. i'm also using the most amazing mulberry crush glitter from nail sugar unfortunately i do spill this all over the place and i lose most of it i could cry but i did not um but i could have done <laughs> so um i of all the nail Kami colors that i've used so far these two I found the most awkward to work with. Um, this one is Beard Tongue and I found it not very, I don't know how I would describe it, not very, if you're going to use it, drain a lot of the liquid out of the brush, out the back of the brush before you put it on the nail because it didn't seem to have an awful lot of pigment i think that's probably how i would describe it but i yeah it's a beautiful color though other than that i've put mulberry crush glitter at the free edge and i've blended it up over um, the beard tongue acrylic i think they went perfectly together i just put a little bit of wet acrylic on that just to keep that all in place because when i come to cap it i don't want it moving around then if you look here this is aster now this one is a, is a marbler and again I don't feel like this colour is all that pigmented I don't know maybe I'm not using it right I'm not sure but I mean I need I only used a small bead then so it obviously isn't going to cover much but I'm going to do a marble on this one um I had to roll the acrylic bead on um because all the pigment was um oh, I don't know how to describe I don't know how to describe it I'm, I'm sorry I'm rubbish but what I'm doing here is I'm putting three beads wet beads all on at once so I've got beard tongue aster and the lily which is their white acrylic and I am marbling the colors together um, just using the tip of my brush to move the color up to the top right and down to the bottom left you'll see what I mean a bit more in a minute you can hear my dog chewing his bone and can you hear the digger outside I just, just noise everywhere noise everywhere at the moment I can't shut the window because it's so bloody hot at the moment. There we go. And we're just going to marble that bottom bit. I did put a little bit too much on there, so I'm just going to take a little bit off. Do I? Maybe I don't. <laughs> okay. Um, glitter. This is going to go through the marble. I'm going to put this in three different places. If the acrylic sets, you want to pick the glitter up with a small wet bead of clear acrylic. And then that will obviously help the glitter to adhere to the nail and when you come to cap it it won't like move around you want it to stay in place when you cap it so i'm going to leave it like that i think this nail is my favorite there we go so that was going to be that one and then the middle one i'm going to do I can't, oh yeah, this is colour blocking. So I put quite a big bead on. Again, I had to roll the bead on. And I'm going to put it on so that... Right, I'm going to... Oh, I'm going to make it slanted. So I'm going to run my brush up like that. Make sure it doesn't run into the side walls. She says, doing it herself. So if your colour starts to move slightly, just push it back up. Thank goodness we have hand files, that's all I can say. I've been watching um, the Not Polish channel on uh, YouTube. And, oh my god, their acrylic application is literally flawless. It's like, do you even need to file that now? <laughs> um, so yeah, so I just, I'm just thinking, god, I wish my acrylic application was as is as not you know flawless as theirs so what i'll do is is i'll leave this just to set up for a bit and then i'm gonna just refine that line by filing filing it with my hand file so once it's like you can leave it to set you can do the other nail you don't have to wait for this to set otherwise you'll be waiting for a little while but um i've waited for this to set and i am just refining that line with my hand file then i will remove any dust and then we can go on with our second colour. So you'll see here what I mean. Um, Aster is a is a bit of a marbler. So again, I think I... Oh, 
what have I done? Yeah, so you can see where the pigment is on the top of the bead, or you could see. Um, but if you have a marbly colour, um, depending on what you're doing with them, like you can work at the bead on the nail and it will mix that pigment in. But I couldn't really do that with what I wanted to do here. But can you see it's it's marbly? I actually quite liked the marbly look though. Um, it's almost like I meant to do it, but I didn't. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm basically making a line of this Asta colour. And then again, I will leave that just to set up and then I can refine it again with my hand file. Okay, so this... <laughs> That again so this now is going to be a full glitter nail but what i'm doing is i'm putting some of that beard tongue acrylic at the cuticle area and i'm going to blend it down um, and then i'm going to cover the nail with the glitter i'm only doing this because i want the cuticle area to be nice and neat so if i if i miss any gaps um then the, you've obviously got that nice you know colored acrylic line anyway teddy do you mind with your bone crunching away He's so noisy. He's got, um, I think it's like a beef knuckle. Honestly, it's bigger than his head. I might have said this yesterday. I don't know, but it's massive. So what I'm doing is I'm using some clear acrylic to pick up the glitter and pop this onto the nail. Now, when I pick up the beads of when I pick up the bead of acrylic, I make sure they're small and relatively wet and then I get a good coverage and I can make the acrylic thin and I can pick up lots of glitter without making the nail bulky. I hope that makes sense. Look at this colour though. Isn't that just to die for? I don't know that it's very, is it summery? I'm kind of getting more autumny vibes with this, but I just, I just really, 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 really wanted to use these colours because I, I do, although I find actually, I'm just being honest, I find these two colours quite awkward to work with. Um, you can work with them and they, like this set actually is one of my favourite sets I've ever done. Um, so you can work with colours and get a good... Oh, do you know what I mean? I'm so rubbish. Um, on this now, I've put beard tongue at the cuticle area, worked it down and then I'm kind of starting about halfway down a marble. So we're going to do what we've done on the index finger but we're doing it on the bottom on like the fridge of the thumb i just i just really like the marble that's why i thought i'd put it on the thumb as well and then i'm gonna put some of the mulberry crush glitter um where the beard tongue ends and the marble starts so we're gonna kind of put the glitter going down in a little swooshy swoosh So again, I'm just picking up that glitter with a sort of thin, not thin, a wet small bead of clear acrylic. There we go. Oh, I love it so much. Then I am going to go back to this now because we need to finish this one. Before we encapsulate all the nails in clear acrylic, I'm going to put some white, a bit of white, a bit of white acrylic there. I kind of wanted to keep that line the same width as the Aster line, the Aster acrylic line. I really, 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 like, I don't know, I just, do you know when you start a set and you think, God, this is going to go horribly wrong, and I actually really like this set. Um, it's, yeah, I think I said a minute, a minute ago, it's one of my favourite sets I've ever done. Even though my application was a little bit messy, very messy. <laughs> so for the white, I didn't actually leave it to set. I think I, yeah, I just went straight in with some clear. I'm going to, the rest of the nail, the free edge is going to be uh, just all, all, um, all glitter. So I didn't worry too much about, uh, this is what, this is the trouble with me and colour blocking. I get impatient and I don't want to wait. Um, if, if I took my time, filed all the edges smoothly, then you know, I'd, I'd probably get on with colour blocking and I'd love it. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm impatient. That's why I just think, just I can't bother to wait for that to dry and file it. <laughs> so I'm using some clear acrylic to pick up that glitter. And that's obviously going at the fridge, as I just said. I'm repeating myself now as an echo. 
and then what I'll do is is I will just cap that free edge um, you probably would need to because I don't know that they are strength powders so you probably would need to file it and then cap the colors that I've used on this now in clear um, but I just capped the edge and then filed it I don't know I don't know that they're strength powders um, honestly I don't know um, I should check really but I haven't checked <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to encapsulate all the nails. I'm going to show you me encapsulating the pinky. Um, this is what I love, right? I love watching people do this, right? Because they can do, they seem to do it really well, right? They seem to do it in like, like the, on the, for instance, on the Not Polished channel, right? They can encapsulate and, oh my God. I'm just like, how did you do that in like one bead? And um, maybe it's the brush. Maybe I need a bigger brush. Don't know anyway right i'm gonna do i'm gonna cap all the nails i'm gonna put another bead on here because i didn't think it had much of uh i think it needed a a, a better apex okay and then um once once i've done that on all of them i will then go ahead and file and buff them and then i will top coat them with some top coat i am a robot <laughs> why do i do that Hashtag weirdo. There they are, all filed and buffed. And we're going to use Nalkami's non wipe top coat for top coat time. My favourite bit. Oh, God, I love these nails. I wish they were mine, but not really, because actually, I'm really loving my nails at the moment. Even though I broke my little finger. I didn't actually break my little finger. I broke my little finger nail. So my little finger nail is now almond. No, yes, it's an almond shape. And the others are sort of like. Um, they're like squoval. But I, I've actually got look. Oh my god! Look at that glitter. By the way, oh my god! I'm getting off. I'm just getting so distracted. Look at the video, Natalie. Tell them what you're doing. I'm now top coating the index finger. That's not an index finger. It's a ring finger. I need help today. But I think this is my favourite now of the whole set. Isn't that bloody gorgeous? Yes, it is. And then I'm going to show you the colour block now, which I was pleasantly surprised with. I wasn't mad at it at all. And a little bit of flick i just love this glitter though this glitter the color of this glitter is freaking amazing and it's a gorgeous sometimes like i always used to, i was always about the hollow yeah don't get me wrong i still love hollow but this metallic glitter is to die for i'm so i thought i'd showed you me knocking it over i did put a post up in the now sugar group because i was mortified i literally lost pretty much the whole pot I mean, I don't, luckily I don't have clients or whatever, so I'm probably not going to use this glitter again for a long time. And when I do come to use it, there is still a little bit in the pot, so it's not the end of the world. But it's, it's still a sad day when you have to put to rest your, you know, your beautiful glitter. <sighs> but on the plus side, I've got a super, super nice set of nails out of it, haven't I? I love these. I don't mean to float my own boat. I was just really pleasantly surprised with how these turn out. So when I have top coated all of these, they're gonna go in an LED lamp for 30 seconds. Well, don't forget that now can we have 20% off until May the 1st um, using code April 20. Um, so grab yourself a bargain because Nail Kami have got some amazing stuff. Here they are. They're going to go in the lamp. Also, you can get 10% off at Nail Sugar using my code NATMUG10 all the time. I know. Make the most of that. Oh, look. Right. So before we finish, my best Karen is always telling me that I should do more 3D work. So I thought we'd stick some roses on this. So I'm going to show you how to do a 3d rose so when you do this you want to make sure you've got I've, i'm using my this is a, a miss you 3d acrylic brush so what i've done is i always drain the liquid out of the back of the bead before i place it on the nail if you make the bead wet it's going to run all over the nail and you're not going to get a nice petal right so drain your bead place your place your bead on then what you want to do is you want to wait a little just wait a few seconds for it to kind of set up a little bit then you want to push it out into a croissant shape a croissant or um like a crescent moon and then using the belly of the brush you want to gently 
push the petal out. I usually do about four petals and then the center. You could do three petals and then the center. It doesn't, doesn't matter. You just got to work out what works for you. Um, so, and I try to make these as flat as I can. Um, so then I'm going to put another one on the right hand side. So just push it out into a croissant and then use the belly of the brush. So this one is going to overlap those first two and I'm going to try and not make it as big, although they're not very big anyway. Okay, and then I'm going to get another one for the other side. And then mold it into like a moon or a croissant shape. And then that one is going to overlap on the other side. It might even overlap that third petal. This one actually ended up quite big. <laughs> but I actually, I actually quite liked how it looked. Is that good? Is that chopping good? Is that nice? God, he loves a bone. He's so funny. Right, then for the middle bead, again, drain the liquid out the back of the brush. Place it in. Now, you want to make a donut shape with this. Right, so if you start, you want to you get your point, get a nice point on your brush. Right, if you start working it when it's not ready, look, it's going to go back into a bead. So you want to wait for it to set up and then push it out into like a donut. And then you want to make a hole in the donut and then push, um, push one of the edges around. And this is going to make the bud. Now, this part of the rose I always find the most difficult. Um, I'm going to push that out a little bit. And I was playing with this for quite some time. But this is what's going to... I always think I always think it's the middle bead that makes, that makes the rose. I don't know what it is. I just have to have that... Yeah, sometimes you can work i work with it too much and i completely ruin it but actually i was really quite pleased with how this one turned out so there we go that is my my rose i'm going to put like half a rose on either side now just so that it sort of i don't know i just felt like it needed something else there we go just like that Ta -da! and as if by magic there we go um, so that is the finish set. I hope you like them. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. Do you think I could say that any quicker? Probably not, because I almost got tongue-tied. <laughs> anyway, here they are. Oh my god, I love them. I bloody love them. I could just look at them all day. Don't forget, 10% off nail sugar using code NATMUG10. 20% off nail Kami using code APRIL20. Um, yeah. I don't know if I'll put any videos up this weekend. I might do, but I haven't actually got anything prepared, so I'll see. But have a lovely weekend. And if I don't see you at the weekend, I'll see you all on Monday. Love you, bye!